Welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I'm Marina and we have a Dollar Tree haul today. And it's a pretty good Dollar Tree haul. I am going to try to blow through as many, I, I, I feel like I say this all the time, I'm a broken record. Hi, my name's Marina and this is Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict and I have a lot of stuff. I mean, duh, of course I do. But I'm gonna try to show you guys as many of my new favorite items that I have either used or picked up in the Dollar Tree in the time allotted that is understandable before you guys get sick of listening to me talk. The first thing that I wanna share with you guys are these pore cleaning charcoal bubble masks. Now I remember, these are carbonated foaming sheet masks. I remember these from a long, long time ago. And when I asked the manager, cause I tore the store apart, little known secret, a, I do love a bubbling mask and a charcoal bubbling mask is particularly enticing. Now these bubble masks, I remember them from a long time ago. These are the real deal. These are good masks, you guys. And I asked the manager, I was like, have these been here forever or did you guys just get more of them? And she actually told me that they had just gotten a shipment of them and they blew out of there. So I was like, wow. Now. I feel like when they came to my Dollar Tree, we paid $1.25 for one. In the store that I was in, they were $1.25 for three, but I maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm not remembering right, I don't know, it has been a while, but you get three of these awesome charcoal pore cleaning bubble masks, and when they say carbonated, they're not kidding. These foam up, like you have shaving cream all over your face. I love them. I honestly love a good spa life mask. So I was really psyched. This was like a treat for me to get on my road trip. I felt like, okay, I made the effort of going all the way out here and the universe rewarded me. Oh, I think I found makeup on that trip too. When I find makeup, the universe has already rewarded me. And um, this is from a previous, I, I don't even know anymore, but do you guys see this Choose Kindness bag? I mean, it's the most beautiful shade of blue. I love the color blue. I love blue, you guys know that. So I had to buy that bag and I bought a bunch of other ones, but they're not in this bag. I don't even know, I don't even know. I do not even remember, you guys, it's so discombobulated. So I'm just grabbing and hauling. Now, I know that I have more than, I think I might've put them outside already. Oh, I think I did, I put them around the pool. These are super cool. There are so many solar lights, you guys are gonna get sick of looking at them right now, but I'm gonna show you guys all of them so you can see the different types of lighting. Now, my thoughts on this are, you can put something in here um, that's like, maybe like a see-through type of plastic or something like that. Like, remember I hauled in my last Dollar Tree haul those, oh my goodness, I can't get this stick out of here. The butterfly, you know how it has that like, well, of course, Rain is gonna have to break this to, in order to, uh, how is this happening right now? It didn't happen with the other ones. They worked just fine. Cause when you get it in the store, it's like this, right? And then you gotta pull, you guys witnessed it here first. Like I just literally was on the struggle bus for no reason whatsoever. I don't even know what the heck that was about. Okay, so like I feel like if you were to put something that's made out of those, I don't know what they're, I don't know if people really know what those are, but um, they're like gels. They're like see-through plastic material, but they have stickers that are like that. If you put them, Literally, if you buy like see-through stickers, which the Dollar Tree does have, and you put them inside of here when the light is shining at night, you'll be able to see that. So I just love the idea of putting something in here that you'll be able to see. It could be like a dragonfly sticker or something like that. So I'm gonna be on the lookout for something like that. Ladybugs, I don't care what. It'll be super cute or even like stained glass. <gasps> They did have, oh man, they did have that a while ago. It was like stained glass, like a sheet of it. I might have that somewhere. I feel like I bought that just in case. If I find that, it was like five years ago, but 
I do every once in a while do stumble into the crafting. Do you guys see this? I don't need to put it back. You guys get it. This is, it's got like a really frosted sort of effect, but I, I do like it. I feel like these are kind of shishi and they're nice by the pool. I like the way that they light up the water by the pool because the pool has its own like lights in it and the hot tub has like color changing lights in it. So that like dim sort of frosted lighting is really exciting. Now these, these right here, these are like the love of my life lights. The fact that the Dollar Tree makes these makes me abundantly happy. I mean, at Christmas time when they made them, I was beside myself with joy. I, I went crazy happy. And now here that they have them again for year round use. Yes, all day yes, sheer happiness. For a buck and a quarter, these are pure joy for $1.25. They go from red to green. Do you guys see that? I'll put it up against my skin to blue to like indigo, to purple. Oh my God, they make me happy. To like a pink and then like a yellow, like an amber. I love them. I love them. Color changing lights are a fortune. A fortune. Even at like, what is the name of that catalog? LTD Commodities or something like that? I'm trying to think of what they're called. I Like even, even on eBay, they're a lot of money. Color changing solar lights cost a bunch of money and ones that have like butterflies i already hauled those those in the front of my house already in my little urns with my faux foliage and flowers because i have given up on trying to grow plants that's constance's area she just did a video on all kinds of planting you guys should go watch it it's so exciting i do not have a green thumb and i do not claim to i've given up completely on growing anything I'm just not good at it. Then um, I did find a bunch, I mean a bunch of different face wipes, body, they're men's. We're gonna pull them all out of the bag. So we have, and you guys have seen them. You're probably sick of them, but I am gonna share one more time and then we'll be done with them. I'm probably last anyway. We have spa scriptions for men, charcoal face and body cleansing wipes, aloe and chamomile, then we have aloe and eucalyptus and aloe and grapefruit. And now these are in this three pack. And I will tell you guys right now that spa scription stuff, I really like. They smell super good. They don't even smell manly. I don't even think that, cause it says that they're for men. Like aloe and grapefruit, some men might not even want to use them. I'm going to, I'm not going to lie. They'll be like, that's too fruity for me. I personally don't think that there's such a thing as like a gender for things like this. And aloe and chamomile, these smell like eucalyptus, to be honest with you. They have a strong, like mentholated scent, menthol -y, if that makes any sense. And then I don't know if I could get this open. Now the one in the middle is cooling face and body cleansing wipes, aloe and eucalyptus. Now you, I would think that those smell like eucalyptus. Let's see if these smell like eucalyptus because the other one smells menthol-y. Oh my God, they do. These are, women are gonna love these. These are wonderful. For a buck and a quarter, you're getting 90 wipes, 90. I wish that they had the door or at least one of them had the door and I would rip it off and put it on the rest of them. But beggars can't be choosers. Oh my God. I wish that you guys could see how these look in the dark down here. I just, I love them so much. The solar light. Of course, the dogs are going to play with their noisemakers now. That's what happens in my house. So then we have this three pack and this one is energizing face and body cleansing wipes grapefruit and vitamin C. Oh, it smells a lot like the other one. Isn't that strange? And then lemon and sage. I want this one to smell really good. Let's see, because lemon makes me happy. Oh my God. It doesn't smell like cleaner or anything like that. It has a nice, ooh, they're really heavily moisturizing. They're 
there's a lot of liquid in them. It's literally dripping out once I open, which is good, which means they're not gonna dry up overnight. And then we're gonna look at the third one. Um, cleansing wipes, witch hazel and cucumber. Now that's really good. Oh, they all, you guys, all of them smell good. They don't even have like an overly manly scent. They're fantastic for that buck and a quarter. Then we have these, tea tree and charcoal, and we have hemp and vitamin C, and the one in the center is eucalyptus and vitamin C, and the other one was eucalyptus and witch hazel, I think, so. All right, we're gonna take another whiff. Wow, that definitely is menthol-y, and that one is the tea tree and charcoal. That is a score. Really, really nice. And then this one is hemp and vitamin C. We're gonna take a whiff of that one. Ooh. Hemp and vitamin C smells like a baby. These are not manly scented. Don't even for once, I don't even know. Honestly, they're great. You don't have to use them on your face. You can use them on your body. You can use them if you're out um, hiking or at the beach. You always need wipes for different reasons, not just to clean, take off your makeup, because that is a special kind of wipe. And then this is the post-workout eucalyptus and vitamin C. This one could be menthol-y scented. Let's see. Ooh, very menthol-y scented. It almost is like Vicks. I don't know. I like them all. I feel like they, you know what? I really like these. And you can break them up and put them in blessing bags. They're a fantastic deal. Buy them and save them for when you're going to make blessing bags. I mean, you cannot beat that. I did actually find some more of them. I bought I bought a ton of these. I did. I think I bought eight of them all together. And there's two here. The color changing ones go in the front. Um, I have other color changing ones in the back. I don't, I just love, I love the solo lights. I have an entire bag of solo lights somewhere. Oh, right here. Okay. Now this was in my most recent walkthrough. Do you guys see this? solar light it is so gosh darn cute it's quite bright I'm not it's br it's bright you guys and it is like you plant it into the dirt almost like a stepping stone after a while it'll just be like there lighting your path and it's a paw print these are wonderful for a dollar 25 I mean I bought a bunch of these a bunch I'm going to send some to friends. I think they're amazing. I, I don't know what more to say. I mean, you guys saw how full this whole bag is just solar lights because Marina cannot help herself. When she sees solar lights, like, I, I can't. <laughs> I didn't buy the whole box because it's not something I'm donating, obviously, but I, I, I bought several because I think I know that I have friends that are going to want some of these. So I grabbed a bunch, a bunch of those. Now, let me tell you guys what is going to happen with these right here. You guys see that this is shining yellow. It is shining yellow, like autumn or Halloween-ish. It's flickering like a flame. This lantern is the bomb. This is so nice. Look at that. It is absolutely fantastic. And you guys see how that's coming. Now, I... I'm making a prediction right here, right now. Marina is making a prediction. And the prediction is these are going to get used in some form of DIYing. I haven't quite figured out what, but I'm going to tell you that I can see lots of upcycling in the future of this because now the sunlight, it, see, it comes off in two different ways. And that's I haven't quite figured out where the DIY is, but I know there is one. Cause see, see that, that's one. There's an on off switch, right? The solar panel is up here. That's one. Two, this is a whole separate entity. Almost like could fit onto a mason jar or something. See that? I don't know, but I, I just can feel in my bones that people will be DIYing the heck out of these because I could see them using some or all of these components to create something even more amazing. I haven't figured out what yet, but I can definitely see it. I mean, just spray painting this silver or 
multicolor. You could do pink and then purple and make like a whole rainbow of them and buy a bunch of these and string them up in like nautical rope across your patio. You have like, let's say a shed and then a deck and you can tie it from one end to the other and you can pick up like eight of these. That's gorgeous for like 10 bucks. You will have a set of lights. You can't get like, I think lights like this. I want to say that Aldi's has a set of 10 similar to this. I think it's $20. So you can make them for less than $20. And honestly, these are cooler. They're very um, like elegant and they give you real, they're very mood setting because the light is flickering and they look like they're a candle. These could totally be out for Halloween. Spiders all over them as well. They have that fall vibe, but that romantic summer evening vibe too, like on the table. They're just amazing, 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 amazing for $1.25. And yes, I did buy quite a few of them. I bought, I bought six of these because I'm definitely going to gift them to family. They are amazing. I am 100% going to be bringing these in little baskets of goodies to every barbecue that I attend this summer. There is no way that I'm not. Then I did buy a few, I did, I did buy a few of everything. I can't, and you know what? They're useful because where I live here, there is no street lighting. When I come home late at night, it's pitch dark. I could like, if I don't light my flash on my phone, I could stumble into my home. These are super bright. I love these. I think that they are, so wonderful for the $1.25. And although I don't have any trees in my backyard, I do get the wonderful luxury of cleaning all of the dead leaves of my neighbor's trees off of my concrete. But the plus is that since I get to clean all the leaves, their branches do come over my fence and I can hang these and make like a cute little fairy looking light display in their trees because there's like huge evergreen branches that come over the fence and I don't mind it. Like I said, I clean up their leaves, but I at least get to hang some solar lights. And then, and now this one is gonna just kill you guys because this one is incredible. Do you guys see that? It's a butterfly. Now I rarely, rarely hold things as soon as I show them in my walkthrough. I feel that's like a little bit redundant and a little bit boring for me. You guys know how my attention span is. If I wait a few weeks, I totally forget what I've bought and I'm like happy all over again. But I have to hold these because I need to put them outside. Like I'm so excited about all of them. I just want to get my backyard. I love, love butterfly stuff. I mean, obviously I do love my butterflies, but this made me crazy happy, crazy happy crazy happy. Even though I bought all the color changing cups, I don't even think I hauled them yet. I think that um, I gave a bunch of them away and I kept a set of each of them. And I think I already used every color because I just got so excited. I had to see them change color, but I did show them in a walkthrough. But then I saw these, these two packs are my absolute favorite because you get two for a buck and a quarter. This one says life is a beach, enjoy the waves. You can't really see it, but it is so pretty. The um, color of this, I'm gonna see if I can, I mean, you get two straws, two lids, two cups, two of everything. There's the print, it's very faint, but when you put your drink in there, you're gonna see it. And it is just beautiful. I love these cups. These are the cups that I absolutely went crazy over the first year that they made them. And I still have, I've been buying them for the last two years. I bought a case of them actually. And I ordered the case of them and I gave them away. Cause I think that they're great to fill with some goodies and give away to people. People are going to reuse a cup that is so convenient. It has everything you need. It's just, just perfect. I mean, it's really like a Starbucks dupe and you, can, you can't beat the price. You just can't, they're, they're awesome. I'm actually drinking one of these sweet teas. It has so much sugar in it, you guys. I bought it earlier when I was at the store. I did stock up on the sugar, 
the unsweetened ones, they're not sugar free because they don't have any sugar of any kind, no sweeteners, no nothing. And I like to put monk fruit sweetener in them because monk fruit is said to be the only sweetener that has no connection to any cancer causing agents, allegedly. So I do like to use monk fruit sweetener when possible, but sometimes I just really want a drink while I'm in the Dollar Tree. So I had one of these sweet teas and I'm not gonna lie, it's delicious. It has more, I think it has the most amount of sugar in it. Chris got the raspberry one. Um, I'm not sure how many grams of sugar are in that one, but there's plenty in this one. I think it's, it's 42 grams of sugar, but it, yeah. every once in a while, a girl buys these things. I did pick this up. I love it. First of all, it's an American flag. Do you guys see that? It's just the flag hanging this way with birds the united birds of america and there are two beautiful cardinals sitting there on their little bird houses and then the third house is vacant it's just so cute and there are daisies i mean everything about this cute little garden flag is gorgeous i love i love birds i love birds i love red, white, and blue. I like red, white, and blue decor. Honestly, just, I just love red, white, and blue together. I think they're super beautiful and I could not resist this one. Absolutely love that. I may actually hang that one on my front yard fence with some of those bows and call it a day. Now the quiet and roar, um, bonanza that was, that was quite a mission. You guys, it appears as though here where I live, those got gobbled up so fast. Uh, I'm trying to even remember how many I have found at this point. I think I've found five or four. Well, I found one lotion and I think four body washes. Um, I've lost track, honestly. Uh, if I remember to line them up, I'll take a picture because it gets confusing after a while as to how many they actually have out there. But the lavender and spirulina scent body lotion you guys know what I'm gonna say. I love it. I know a lot of people are like, I don't like the scent of that. It's very manly. <sighs> I love it. I love it. It smells. It does smell manly. I have nothing wrong with that. I like it. I like manly scents. I do. I like, it's like, but it is lavender. It smells like if lavender and Irish spring had a baby. Yeah. Like Irish spring? No, not Irish spring. It smells good is what it smells like. I really like it. It is relaxing. It's legit lavender. Now here's the sick, crazy thing. You guys, I found one of these. I have been around the world. What is that song again? Been around the world and I, I can't find that quiet and roar. I, I can't, I like can't even say this enough. I have been around the world. I can't find more quiet and roar. I can't, I just can't. I, every time I roll up to the shelves, there's like one, one, one. <laughs> is that crazy? I will never collect enough to give away. So. Honestly, I'm not even trying for that. I gave up. At first, I was really excited. I was hoping to be able to buy these and donate them to the shelter for Mother's Day. I was super excited in the beginning, but um, when they came to my Dollar Trees, my local, local Dollar Trees, I was told that somebody bought them all up off the shelves. So hopefully they went to a good cause because it's not my cause, that's for sure. But you know what? If somebody who is charitable bought them, I hope that they're doing something nice with them. Regardless, lavender and spirulina scent. These are 16 fluid ounces. They have no parabens, no phthalates. They have essential oils. They're cruelty free. I absolutely love the body lotion. This one is for relaxing and it says so right there. Uh, massage into your skin, relax, glow. Yes. I, I would say that that is a very relaxing scent. I truly enjoy it. Now, this one is Renew, and it says Rinse, Quiet and Roar, Body Wash, Lemon Blossom, and Mint Scent. I think that um, as far as the body washes go, I would have loved the lavender and spirulina in a body wash. 
oh my god this is my favorite of all of them absolutely love love this it does not smell lemony or minty in fact it smells like I just shoved it up my nose because I did I don't know how I do these stupid things but um oh it smells like it I don't know these smell like so these smell like something that I can't place like a candy it smells like a candy to me it smells like something from my past I hate when that happens to me so I don't know it reminds me of a scent of something I don't know if that happens to you guys like I have the most crazy olfactory um memories like if I smell something and it takes me somewhere in my head and I can't remember where it takes me it will drive me crazy until I remember it and this is one of those scents if you found the quiet and roar body wash in the lemon blossom and mint scent comment down below and tell me what it reminds you of it's just a wonderful fragrance. I really love it. Now, the pineapple and kiwi berry scent. And I know I already have the banana, coconut, banana one in my shower, which I really like as well. I love all of them. That was the first one I found. This one does smell like pineapple. I can say that. Pineapple and kiwi berry. I don't know what kiwi berry smells like. Kiwi and berry, do they mean? Is there... This smells like pineapple. It smells very pineapple-y, sweet, and yummy. They're all wonderful. Absolutely great buys for $1.25, but that lemon one is like haunting me. I'm gonna be thinking about it in the back of my head the whole time, just so you guys know. I do have a couple more solar lights, you guys. I did buy a couple of these. I think they're beautiful. These are perfect to put on a picnic table or hanging off of the end of the umbrellas. You know how like, um, when you have an umbrella and the, you can actually get paper clips, clip it around this plastic and put it through the edge of your umbrella. Like when you open it and you can hang it around all of the spokes on your umbrella, your outdoor patio umbrella, and it'll make cute lighting. Cause it also has that ambient lighting. Do you guys see that? It's like yellow and really pretty and it sets a mood. I think that these are gorgeous. You can put them in your windows. They're just amazing, so beautiful for, for a little gift or for yourself. Place them anywhere and they're gonna cheer up a room for a little bit of money. And then, now these are from a while ago. These are from a different bag, but I'm gonna show them now because I really wanna get all of these placed. These are great, like really great because look, it's a white light. These are wonderful for your windows. Guys, save these for the holiday season. You could put this in a wreath. Because look, the solar um, panel is in there at the top. You could plate, get a wreath, a beautiful wreath, right? And if you want to have that like beautiful old fashioned, you could put a bow behind it, put the solar panel facing out towards the out, outer part of, you know, wherever you hang it. And even in the dead of winter, this is going to get enough sunlight that at night it's going to shine. That's amazing for $1.25. I scooped up. I think about a dozen of these. They had a million of them. I bought a dozen because I want them on my little steps outside. I want to have some on my patio tables. I want them in my windows. I want them during the holiday season. I think that these are gorgeous. I love that they're white light. I love that. I love that for Christmas time. White lights at Christmas make me super happy. And to have a solar powered wreath, amazing. Amazing for $1.25. I love that love love all of these items i really cannot stress it enough i love them they are a great buy it's such a good bang for your buck i mean you're saving money by buying them at the dollar tree so you can spend other money in the dollar tree because everybody usually uses solar lights at night especially in the summer i did grab another goalie now let me know in the comments down below if you have noticed that when the goalie is in the 60 pack. They're all smushed together. Now, I don't mind unsmushing them, but all of the goalie that I bought in the 60 pack, they're like smushed together and you got to like shake them and dig in here to get them out. But all of the ones in the 30 pack, they are nice and not smushed together and glommed together. A lot of people hate how these taste. 
I like the taste of wheatgrass and green juice. I happen to be allergic to wheatgrass. That's the only reason I don't drink it anymore. So I love these. I think that they're actually like a treat. They taste like salad with sugar in it to me. And um, I feel like they do give me a little something. So for $1.25, I'll take them until they're expired and beyond. And I have Chris taking them too. They're, I, I like them. I definitely like them. Oh, because that's the one I want. Yeah, so I have Chris taking them too, even though he doesn't remember to take it all the time. He doesn't mind them either. They don't take, I like the taste of them. I don't think they taste bad at all. I did hear a lot of people say that they hate them, but I like them. Like I said, I like them. Everybody's different and that's okay. Organic Jasmine Rice. This is a rebuy for me. Non-GMO Tasty Bite Organic Jasmine Rice. A buck and a quarter. Love, love, love this buy. I love that it's organic rice for $1.25. When I find organic items that are shelf stable, in, there are no words to express the joy that I have. I can't say it any better. Now, I do, when I see this one, I'll pick one up. When I see, when I see the organic one, I'm crazy happy. But I have to tell you guys that the non-GMO Thai kitchen one, I'm just as happy. As long as it's non-GMO and it has the non-GMO label, I'm very, very happy. Now, um, these are ready to heat. You just stick them in the microwave. They're the same size, right? Yeah, absolute same size, $1.25. I love either one of them. I, I, I love them equally. They both are nice jasmine rice. Every week when I see them restock it, I pick up a couple so that I can rotate them in my pantry because they have been restocking them and they have different expiration dates. And I make sure to use the oldest ones first so that they don't go bad. Because if you've ever cooked a bag of that when it goes bad, you know it. Or if air gets in there, oh my God, it's horrifying. They have lots of patches in the Dollar Tree. And I actually bought every single one of them because I was thinking about putting a bunch of patches on a pair of old jeans. I just think it'll be cute. They have this unicorn and this sequin heart. I mean, those are like a little childish, but I don't care when you have a bunch of patches it doesn't really matter i can order some others i do actually have a bunch of patches that i've ordered over the years so i could just add these to that and make tons of patches on a pair of really wide leg jeans i think it'll be cool i love this celestials one i really love it look how it matches my polish i love that love it then we have this like um sports oriented one in truth I don't think I meant to buy this one. I think I showed it to you guys and I bought it by accident because I I like this one that says fantastic, but I don't necessarily, I'm not gonna put sports oriented patches on my clothing, but I love the one that says fantastic. I think it's kind of funny to put it on your butt on the back pocket. <laughs> I think that would be really hilarious. I love, 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 love. There are not enough words to express how much I love these. Two patches are so beautiful and it even says like ball from mason jar so super duper cute really love that one have a nice day and the smiley face i love those and i love these i meant to get a bunch of these and i forgot i absolutely love the lollipop and the gumball machine they are so lisa frank-esque which i think is kind of cool i have um i actually bought six boxes of these in total and these are fantastic. I 100% endorse these wholeheartedly. Can't say enough about them. I've gone on and on and on about them. You guys already know, I don't need to tell you, but I'm just gonna quickly show you that each box has four of these. And you just um, put them in a pot of boiling water, anything, you can scoop them out, you know, however you scoop your noodles out, drain them and drop them into your stir fry they are delicious they are really delicious they're brown rice noodles non-gmo these sell for 5.99 at my stop and shop 5.99 or a dollar 25. i saved money by buying these that's how i look at it and i do buy stuff like that so instead of spending six dollars i bought six boxes it equals out to me a few more awesome mask products that came into the dollar tree recently just in time for mother's day this hemp seed oil peeling foot sock, exfoliating and smoothing, 
you get two pairs. You guys, I've used these already. I love them. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried them and how you feel about them because I love them. I put them on and I put my socks over them, my Snuggadoo socks, you guys know, and I hang out in my bed editing my video, watching videos, doing whatever it is that I'm doing, and then a half hour later I take them off. The next day, my feet were peeling like I don't even know. I love these. These are for real really good. At first they didn't peel. So they don't like magically peel immediately. I don't know, maybe yours do, but for me, I noticed that when I went into the shower, they just were peeling later in the day, but as long as they peel, I'm glad. I think it's awesome. I definitely use my um, Dollar Tree Aggressive Foot Sugar File, and they came out really good. For $1.25, this will save you going to do that intermittent um, pedicure when you don't even need it. Because until my polish is ruined, I hate going back for a pedicure. I try to do the pumice stone all the time when I'm in the shower because it spares you from having to get that pedicure when your polish is still nice on your feet. It, we haven't been like in the ocean yet. Usually the ocean ruins the polish, but um, I think for $1.25, these are absolutely awesome. I mean, for two, not two feet, you guys, four masks, two times for both of your feet. So you're getting four all together. That's a great buy. Then these, I love this. Let me show you guys what's going on in here. This one says, Spa Life Nourish and Smooth Honey and Almond Nourishing Gloves. And it says, you are what you feed your skin. We believe when you feel good on the inside, you look good on the outside. And that is true. Now, um, what is inside of this is a pair of gloves. Now, I've already used one of these. And I picked up some extra for the Bumblebee giveaway. I picked up extras, but as soon as you open it, I'm going to put them back in here. I'm going to use them tonight. That's why they're already moistened, but you see this, you have to still kind of bust into them because there's even more goodness inside of here. These are great. They smell nice. They are very, very lovely. I don't know. I really enjoy them. Guys, I put this on and passed out of sleep. I had them on my feet. I woke up, I took them off, I had them on my feet, I had them on my hands, I, and it says that it's 95% new natural formula, sulfate and paraben free. I really enjoy these. I think they're great. They're very, very ultra moisturizing. Ultra, ultra moisturizing. I found these and I love them. I just love them. They are great to put fruit in and take them on the go or snacks or your makeup of the day, let's say you wanna to touch yourself up, you can just throw this in your bag and not have like it with you all the time. Sometimes you need a specific lipstick or a specific item and you don't wanna throw it in your bag forever, you can keep it separate in these and then when you come home, put it back. You get the big one, you can put a whole sandwich in here and take it with you to the beach or fruit like I said or anything. You get this size one for $1.25 or these two for $1.25. I think that that is excellent, excellent. Then you have these right here with the watermelon on them. One for $1.25 again, or two for $1.25. I love these. I love them. You can't go wrong. I know that out there is the core brand that everybody holds, the cutest of all prints, but you know what? You get what you get at the Dollar Tree. And I'm still happy to get that. I did grab some of these. I always love these. I, I really enjoy these in the morning. Um, the crunchy rice rolls. Sometimes if you just want to crunch away, or if you're, if you're a stress eater, sometimes you just want to hear that crunch when you're mad. Crunch, crunch, crunch. This is the way to go. 40 calories. Serving size, one roll, seven servings per container. But I mean, these have a, they pack a loud crunch. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when I'm like aggravated about something or something's preying on my mind, that crunch takes the noise out of my head. So I like these for those, those reasons. So I picked up the Nature Valley Sweet and Salty Granola Bars. I got to tell you guys, I almost killed over when I realized this. I mean, keeled over when I realized this. They contain bioengineered materials. 
it's getting harder and harder. And the other day I was in Stop and Shop and I, I, I am always buying granola. I love granola. I love granola and yogurt every day of my life. I eat raspberries or blueberries with granola and yogurt every single day. I absolutely love, love that. It's like my, my happy place dessert. And, um, I usually buy the bear. What are those called? The bear. I mean, for a long time, I was eating the nature Valley ones. Cause I had a bunch, the dollar tree brought us like three different flavors. And then I got a little hooked on them and I never realized, I think those were bioengineered too. Um, I never realized it, but normally on the norm, I do buy the ones nature's promise stop and shop has like their own, like shishi foo foo, like no frills, but they're non GMO brand. Um, but I like to buy the bear. What is that called? Bear kind or bear bear. bear naked. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Chris told me bear naked or I would have been here all day because my brain is already trying to remember what this smells like. So we're it's it can't. I told you I get one track minded, but the bear naked granola is my favorite. That's my favorite. That one is not bioengineered, but these are bioengineered. I mean, I'm devastated. When did this happen? contains bioengineered food ingredients. Now I'm not going to tell you that I haven't been eating them. I have been eating them and I'm going to finish them because I actually love, love the nature Valley sweet and salty chewy granola bars. I love them so much. They're like one of my absolute favorite granola bars. I was devastated, but I don't know that they've always been that way. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but I do know that a lot more items are now showing that they are bioengineered. And I do not like that. I did get some more of these. I love them. They are really great. We have very sensitive stomachs in this family. I just got done telling you guys I've been accidentally eating bioengineered food. When I eat stuff like that, it really does upset my stomach. So I have been using these and they have been helping me. So I think that for $1.25, 48 soft gel capsules, that prevent, I mean, Pepto-Bismol, yeah, of course, like it's synonymous with upset stomach and they're hundred percent natural. I really, really like this product. As a matter of fact, I will continue to buy these after they're gone from the Dollar Tree. So I did pick up a couple more. I don't feel like these ever expire. I feel like 10 years from now, if I have a stomach ache and I still have those in my cabinet, I'll take them. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but let me know in the comments down below if you honestly are checking the expiration date on this and you're like, uh-oh, my Pepto expired. I'm going to throw it away. When you have a stomach problem and your Pepto's in the cabinet, you're going to use it. That's all there is to it. You're using this until it's gone. That's, that's what I have to say about that. I'm sure of it. I did pick up another one of these Kelowna garlic and herb seasoning. I really, really like this one and I really love that it's salt free. I just would rather have my salt be put into my food um, mindfully. I don't like buying any seasoning that has salt in it with the herbs because I like my food to be super herby, like super garlicky, and then I like to add salt in um, in moderation. And I feel like I feel like that's a better way of seasoning food. I love when I see ingredients like garlic, black pepper, onion, citric acid. It doesn't have MSG. That makes me really happy. I mean, the ingredients in this seasoning are pretty clean for a Dollar Tree seasoning. I mean, Kelowna is a brand name, but this is not an expensive high end or anything fancy, but the ingredient list is fairly clean and I love that. It's garlic, black pepper, onion, citric acid, it has crushed red pepper, parsley, lemon oil, cool. It has, so that, because it has lemon oil in it, can't keep this. It would be, um, if you keep it in your cap. Okay, so here's a little secret. Do you guys ever smell your spices after a while and they have like a yucky scent to them? When they have lemon oil in them, it's better to keep them in your refrigerator because the oil in here does go rancid. So if you put this in your fridge and then use it when you need it, it won't go bad as quickly. That's just my thing. Cause I hate it when oils go rancid and 
there are oils in lots of things that we keep in our pantry once we open them. And honestly, they would be much more um, delicious if you kept them refrigerated. So the it does have an anti-caking agent that has a tri blah, 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 name that I can't read, which is an anti-caking agent. And I've come to accept that that is in a lot of things. And sometimes it is made of, I don't even want to get, I don't even want to talk to you guys about that because a lot of you will be like, why are you so crazy? But these things do hurt my stomach. But most seasoning does have an anti-caking agent and um, at least it doesn't have MSG. I really like this. If you are like gut sensitive or can't have salt and you buy the expensive one, I can't think of its name right now, but there is a salt-free seasoning that is crazy expensive, like $7 a bottle. This is really similar to it for $1.25. So definitely stock up on this and keep it in your fridge. It'll last a lot longer. I did pick up one of these power stick in the scent of intensity for crisp. And then I found tag, which I bought also, but I, I feel like this smells really good, really good. And it's, you know, men's all day fresh body spray for a buck and a quarter. You can't beat that. Summer's coming. Teenage boy definitely need that. Okay guys. So the next bunch of amazing items that I found in the Dollar Tree, I have a lot more. This was round two, but, um, yeah, the first time that I found these L'Oreal polishes, I bought a lot and then I did swatch them. Like some of them were so amazing that I was on the hunt for them again and I found them and I definitely grabbed the blues because the blues are gorgeous. Some of them I didn't find again, but I'm going to definitely show you guys what they look like. Um, although these don't say Insta Dry, these Insta Dry, you guys, these are more insta dry than the insta dries i have never used a polish that goes on smoother or dries faster i love these polishes i actually i've never used the l'oreal polish before now and i have to tell you it's amazing polish i mean really amazing so this right here i'm using a spoon because i swatch polishes so often when I donate them, if I buy a lot of the same color, I swatch them on the swatching sticks. Originally, when I brought them to my channel, the swatching sticks, it's because I run a nonprofit and I buy polishes usually in abundance and make buckets full of colors so that people don't have to open them and use them. And it was convenient to show them on my channel as well. But I'm out of the swatching sticks. I'm using plastic utensils because as long as you guys can see the color, that's all that really matters. Now I have swatched this polish on the edge of this spoon and it is so nice. It has like a diamond, it's not a typical sparkle polish. It's like a diamond effect. I don't know if you guys could see, it has like so much, um, like it's almost like metal, like eyeshadow. It has a gorgeous, gorgeous, just a gorgeous texture, texture, that's the word. Marina can't think right now. And I absolutely love, 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 love it. It's like the midnight sky. And the number of this one is totally, oh no, the number is 703 and the name is totally d'accord. So now I like to envision that it is the French nighttime sky because d'accord means well like doing well, I believe, I think, I mean, I took up to college level French and d'accord means okay. Oh, totally okay is what it translates to. That's just so cool. This is totally okay. It's totally okay to get this for a buck and a quarter. And I think that this is going to be my 4th of July manicure because I'm loving the dark, dark nighttime blue with probably I'll be putting silver sparkles on top of that because you guys know I'm too much. But then the red this red bam it's a nice red you guys it's the perfect summer summer red i love it i just want to like eat it actually it's like the perfect like jello red it's just red and it is called plaid please so it's just wonderful i mean it's so these are amazing if you see these l'oreal polishes buy them asap 
I mean, this is dry. I just swatched it. I literally just swatched it. It's drier than dry. It is incredible. Incredible. Love it. Love it. These, okay, I'm going to say it, and I'm, I, I, I'm going to say it, you guys. I like these L'Oreal polishes more than I love the Insta-Dry. And the Insta-Dry, I'm actually wearing Insta-Dry right now. This blue right here is an Insta-Dry. This is I did this manicure. This is not a store manicure, um, which these are all Insta Dry, except for the top coat on my nails right now is a Milani. Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of it. It was a Milani Sparkle Polish from a long time ago, but I put um, this color on the bottom and then I put the Milani Sparkle on top of it. But I, I gotta tell you guys, I love the Insta Dries because only the Insta Dry polishes actually dry on my nails decently enough that they don't smudge and look gross. But now these are gonna give the Insta Dries a run for their money because I've never seen a polish dry better. And this is one coat. One coat of this L'Oreal is exactly like the container. Do you guys see that? That is, that is a good polish. This one, number 227. Oh my God, you guys remember that TV show, 227? It's number 227, Navy Knit. I used to, with Sandra. Oh my God, I loved Sandra. Sandra. She would always say her name like this, with her hands like this. I loved that show. And what was the other lady? Oh, Pearl. Pearl, right? She was the one that was always in the window, minding everybody's business. Oh my God, I loved that show. Oh my God. There were so many really good TV shows back in the day when I had the attention span to even watch television. I was like, when TV still had channels. Now there's so many channels, I can't even watch television because there's just too many choices. I just end up changing the channel more than I end up watching the channel. So this one, number 227, Navy Knit, is this beautiful blue. It's a very, very gorgeous blue. Do you guys see that? It's like a definite navy, navy blue. I mean, I really like that as well. And that is just one, 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 just once. And it, it dried. It's so good. Isn't that good? That is good coverage. Put a clear coat over that. That's going to be fantastic. I found this Fuchsia Flame number 807. There it is. Fuchsia Flame number 807. And kind of almost is the same color as my shirt. It's very nice. It's like flamingo pink. I love it. Now, because I swatched it on the inside of here and the blue was behind it, I actually put two coats of it. But it's, I mean really really a beautiful color i love it it's really nice and like i said these dry practically instantly i have i think this may be my la i think we might be on my last but not least but i definitely want to share my bouquet of cups i love these cups for beach days everybody's got their cup they fill it with ice where they freeze it overnight, they put whatever it is they want to drink in here, and they are in charge of their cup of beverage the whole day. I absolutely love every one of these. I think that they are super duper nice for a hot beach day or a hot pool day. You just fill it up and you're done. Catch me by the sea. It is so absolutely fabulous because, I mean, look, sea turtles, and it's just, and I see how the S is. When I first saw this, I thought that it was seahorses and I was so happy, but it still gives me seahorse vibes, even though they're sea turtles and I like sea turtles, not as much as I like seahorses, but the cup gives me seahorse vibes and I can accept that. I just really love the color. It's really calming and soothing. I love, love, love that. And of course I do. I live at the ocean. Then I have this one, Sunshine State of Mind. I mean, it's so nice. Look at those butterflies. It's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And because there's four different patterns, everyone will know which one is theirs. That one would usually probably be for my guests. Um, and then you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter as long as everyone has their own color so they know whose is whose on that specific beach day. 
but I'm probably always going to use the one with the sea turtles, or maybe I'll use the sunshine state of mind. I don't really care. I'll probably use the red one because the other ones are blue. I don't know, but I love them. Hello, sweet summer. Even though I like the sea one more, it's blue. Hello, sweet summer is absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love, love, love watermelon print on everything. It's just so summer. It's summer in, in a cup, period. And then this one, I have to admit, I love this one too. I love them all. Bring your own sunshine. I mean, they're great. Plus, again, and I always like to suggest this, you can give someone this cup and fill it with goodies. You know how much stuff you could put in this cup? I mean, you could put a lot of stuff in here. You could literally put the goalie in here. Look, goalie, um, a toothbrush, a nail polish. What else do you want to put in here? Anything. You could put anything in here. You could put some eyelashes. I mean, you could put a lot of things in here and a pair of socks, some scrunchies, a face mask, and give someone a cute gift in this cup. Honestly, you could even put flip-flops in here. Not to be gross, but I would not even think it was gross if you put brand new flip-flops in here, a pair of sunglasses, a scrunchie, and a bottle of sunblock, and you gave this to someone. I think that's a great gift. I love it. And I love that you don't need to buy a bag. You just hand this to them and be like, enjoy the sunshine. Bring your own sunshine. I just love that. I hate wasting money on gift wrap. You guys have figured that out yet. I could spend tons of money, but when it comes to wrapping, I will do everything in my power to avoid spending money on it. But again, like I said, you could put a mask in here. You could put a lot of things in here. It would be a cute gift. I love, I love gifting things like that. And it condenses everything, takes up less space. I just love that. I love things like this for reasons like that because I'd rather buy that than buy a gift bag, plain and simple. That $1.25 on a paper gift bag, to me, becomes garbage, but the cup, somebody may use. Even if they use it to put water in the bathtub and bathe their baby. Let's say they wanna wash their baby's hair and that cup is what they use forever. You know what? It was $1.25 well spent. You just never know what people are gonna use things for other than what you want them to use them for. So I just like to buy things that are useful and then whatever happens, happens. Um, I think that's it, you guys. show you guys these because I want to start using these for making like nachos or okay so this is my thing we've been on a salad everyday kick lately so you can put your salad in here and then let's say like my son will be like mom can you not put the chicken on top of my salad can you put it on the side okay no problem can you not put the avocado on top of my salad can you put it on the side okay no problem so I like these as like our dinner plates. I like that because a lot of the time there are tactile sensitivities in the food in this house, but me, I don't care. I will put my fruit in here, my salad in here, and I just love to eat out of it. It's a flip flop. I love them. I can't say it enough. I absolutely love these. I think that they are the cutest thing the Dollar Tree has come up with. They are so adorable really and truly adorable. Great for parties, great for dips, great for hummus and chips. You name it, it's good. And it's just more summer happiness for a buck and a quarter. And then 
Okay guys, so the very last thing that I wanna share with you are these. These could possibly be, I don't know, these are doing something to my heart. Like I cannot tell you how amazingly beautiful I feel like these are. First of all, I have a gold tote. In the summer, I love to wear my metallic tacky retro totes. Look at what I have in here. I have this whole pack of Arm & Hammer Essentials after sun face and body towelettes. Now, it goes in there with much room to spare. I could put one bottle of nail polish, two bottles of nail polish, three bottles of nail polish, and I could fit a fourth, but I don't know where I put it. Um, these are a good size. They have the squared off bottom, but I showed all of the prints in a recent shorts video. I didn't buy all the prints because honestly, although the other prints are all really beautiful and if I have pictures, maybe I'll put one. If you guys want to go and look at my shorts, they're all floral beautifulness. But this one, this one looks expensive. This looks like something Estee Lauder. Honestly, this reminds me of something Estee Lauder would make. This is an Estee Lauder type of makeup bag for $1.25. Can't you guys see this as their like summer um, happy or what is their fragrance? I could just see this as their summer free gift giveaway with a kajillion dollar purchase, but you don't have to. For a buck and a quarter, you can buy this beautiful with the gold. The gold tab is what's really doing it for me. It's spring in a makeup bag. I love it. And I picked up three of them because I just feel like these will have to be in future giveaways. They are that wonderful. I'm obsessed with them. Absolutely love them. I'm going to give some, uh, I think, I th think I might give one to my friend, Kathy. I don't know, but I love, 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 love this print. It's phenomenal. And with that, you guys, that is everything. That is everything that I can cram into this haul, but I will be back sooner than later with more awesome Dollar Tree finds. I have a house full of them and I need to start getting everything out of here for Mother's Day. So I also have bought a ton of sunglasses over the course of the year, and I did score those cups, which I don't have in the house. I have, I have two cases of them at this time, and I'm looking for a third. Um, I placed an order, you guys know the lemon and the watermelon cup, so I'm probably not gonna haul them. I'm probably gonna do maybe a shorts video, if I can remember. I think I'm really gonna try to show you guys how I'm gonna put together those cute little Mother's Day gifts that are gonna be for kids and their moms, because most likely the moms are gonna give the cup to their kids, because it's a fun cup for kids, but that's what being a mom is all about, isn't it? And with that, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a comment down below letting me know what you liked about the video and a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the video, letting me know that you enjoyed the video and share my video and let your friends know that you enjoyed the video because that definitely helps my channel. Every time you guys share my videos, you guys are really helping me help other people and I so appreciate it. And as always guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.